awesome, my name is Icarus Gomu and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, also known as Tabs. And you better keep a tab open because your army needs to strive. We're going up against Samurai today. Whether or not that's a good thing I have no clue, but we're going to lead the front tier with some shield men. We don't get that much money, do we? We get 200 bucks, and that is it. Well, maybe we should go with Vikings again. Started off strong. Vikings did very well for us last time, so why not? Here we go! Samurai bro! Do you think you got this? Oh, oh, our men are gonna teach you. Our entire army of three guys will teach your entire army of 20. See? Lesson taught! Okay, so obviously our guys need a little bit more discipline and we gotta do something a little bit different here. I'm thinking we go with a samurai in the back and we have him protected by a bunch of barbarians just because he's gonna be the most vital one out of them all he's been trained to slice and dice many men cavemen really get a lot of bang for their buck though dang I got a lot of them for just a couple of bucks holy shit and they're bastarding the crap out of them um I'm actually thinking the cavemen might win over feudal, over feudal Japan, the cavemen have won. Except for they're kind of beating the shit out of each other now. Oh wait, are they drowning? A lot of them were drowning! What? Don't drown, my little men! You can breathe! Just pull your head out of the water, it's as simple as that, don't be stupid about it. Samurai and archers. Okay. Well, we'll go Vikings. And then we'll go Barbarians. Barbarians did very well last time. Why not? Throw them into the pit. Throw them into the pit for fodder. They are be the meat shields. If they can even get across the water without drowning, that is. All right, all right, all right. All right, you did good, cavemen, barbarians, whatever you are. You did very good at taking out the, uh, yeah, the samurai that drowned. Uh, all the Vikings have to do is take out the rest of them and it'll be good. But I don't think I don't see that happening. Cause they the Vikings need to turn around or else they're gonna get sniped in the butt. Turn around, take them out. You got this. Don't turn your back to any of them. Well, he kinda just tossed his axe right at him. You got this little man! Go on! Do it! Do your family proud! Oh my god, he took out two with one swipe. He might actually do it. Nope, okay, somehow he died. I don't know how he died. I guess he had a heart attack while he was in the middle of fighting somebody. Either that or guilt set in and he just couldn't take it anymore from killing so many people. He was quite the man. Quite the damn man. Okay, what if we keep archers at the back and then we pull out Vikings in the front? Because what I'm thinking is that the river is going to prevent the Vikings from being able to be shot by their friends. Since there's that slope there, it should cause them to not get shot. Yes. My hypothesis was generally correct. Okay. Now all the Vikings have to do is take out a good chunk of the blues, the archers, and then the archers of my era, my red archers, have to come in and take out the rest. That is their main role. And it kind of worked. Hell, if he doesn't die from those arrows, he might actually be able to... Never mind. He was taken out immediately. Well, screw me in the bunghole. You little freaking blue. Like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm realizing the blues have slanted eyes. Oh, they all have slanted eyes. Was there an update? I remember them being rounder. Or is that just because of where we are? If so, I don't know how to respond to that. That's just weird. Okay. Samurai and Vikings. How are we gonna handle this um, with an onslaught of our own Vikings? How about that? Vikings seem to be doing pretty good. They seem to be going good. I don't know why I took on an accent and a lisp at the same time, but it was there. Boy, oh boy. I, a lot of them are probably gonna drown in the water. The water's probably gonna be like our main priority. Just cause it'll kill a lot of them on its own. Um, if they, a lot of them could stop getting up behind the tree, that would be nice too, but at the same time, they aren't doing all that bad. 
I mean, they have an advantage because they have shields. But, uh... Oh, oh, bad idea. Don't, don't come up against them. They're like cornered little cats. They're like cornered animals. They'll pounce at the second notice of danger. I mean, just look at this guy. He's back here watching his tree. He's freaking just waiting. He's waiting to pounce. Meanwhile, all of their friends are using them as weak shots. Oh, you saw that guy? He's trying to pounce. It's all down to these two. Because the blue guy doesn't know that there's another one. Shh! That guy back there is Cobra Ops. And they don't know. Oh, he missed. He doesn't know he's back there. Shh! Quiet. I think he has a whip of him, but I'm not sure yet. He's going for it. He's going for it. This all comes down to one swing. One. Oh, he messed it up. Yeah, that's right. I'm going with the same strat because you know what? It pretty much did well. It's just that a lot of guys got caught up in all the mischief, so it didn't work out right. But hey, you know what? RNG Jesus be praised. They won this time. I just used the same strat. I can't exactly tell you the pattern that I used. There's some weird, like, zigzag. But it worked, and it worked well. So now all we gotta do is fight up against a Huacha and a musket, or muskets. Which really, I guess all we really have to do is just put Vikings way in the back. Just so that way the Huacha wastes itself. Cause it's gonna fire in three, two, one, now. And the Huacha doesn't do shit. You see that? Okay, it killed two guys. But when I use the Huacha, oh no, it doesn't kill anybody. Jesus! Come down with a shooting! Although, I think you guys are kind of boned now. Just because they have broken into your lines. Yep, yep, here we go. Yep, you're all getting cut down. Look at that guy, he's like, ah, I'm gonna get you. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Everybody's dead. Vikings are OP. They just freaking, they kill. They kill, 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 kill. Chicken man, man. It's a chicken man, man. Chicken man, man, chicken man, man, man. Um, muskets. Muskets up the wazoo. Because I don't... Holy shit! When they say chicken man, man, they... Oh my god, he shits out little chicken men too. That's... How are you supposed to win this? I don't understand. I mean, look at my freaking fodder of sh freaking bullets. If they can't win this, I don't know what will. Fire! You need to fire faster! I mean, they're killing all the chicken men. It's just the chicken man man that they gotta worry about. Oh god, he's kicking them. He's kicking them brutally and grotesquely. I think we're in for a heaping helping of trouble. Oh boy. Yep. This is gonna need some strategizing. I think a nice watcher right in the front and then a bunch of muskets right behind it will do really well. Just because then, unless it faces the completely wrong way and shoots the ground. Let me try that again. But maybe not so up there with the rock. Maybe right there would be good. Yeah, and I have the musket guys over here. That might work a little bit better. I probably shouldn't have lined them up like that because they're gonna shoot each other because they're stupid. Come on, somebody die from that. Somebody's gotta die from that. Oh, will you look at that? They actually died from it. I cannot believe that. And the musket men are actually killing. You need to trip and drown in the water, friend. Like, that'd be the best thing for you to do right now. I don't think you're gonna do that, though. But my guys are focusing fire on you, so that's a good... Don't stand up on that rock. That is death rock right there. Woo! Did it! Beat all of the levels of the pre-alpha! Nobody can stand in our way! No man! No creature! No man named Chicken Man Man! No man Chicken Man can stand in our way! We've done it! We've taken out all the armies! Nothing stands in our way! Now we can fiddle around with everything! All that we want! Build the armies! Yes! Limitless possibilities! But anyways, I think that's gonna about do it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'm still having fun with this. I might try out my own custom armies next time just to see what goes on. Um, I feel like there's some things missing just because of what I've seen from other videos. Not that I've watched them as I don't tend to watch certain things because it spoils it, the, the uh, experience for myself. But, you know whatever. 
Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, don't forget to shoot the like button to keep it awesome. Don't forget to stay awesome, because you are awesome, and I'll catch you in the next whatever I do. Ciao!